how's it going Asian? And today we shall go over why there's no tab at the division 2. Okay, before we start, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. Without any delay, let's begin. Thank you so much for turning in. I appreciate you guys a lot. Stay the game has been cancelled. In fact, I made a video and I was going to publish it just talking about why I thought the community needed their expectations lowered or with the next state of the game, they needed to say something why they wouldn't. However, in fact, I was I was in the in process, but I just decided to wait until set the game came out because I needed to talk about what's going on but in fact it didn't. The development team has basically withdrawn from this game or at least are slowly decreasing in their initial size of the team because of the new Star Wars game. I will state again, comparing a ga both games Star Wars, Star Wars and open world just like the Division, however, the Division 2 has a different type of player base because when you play the game you have to do maths and some people don't really want to do, be doing maths and calculation of like, builds. Compare like GTA, GTA is one of those games where you can see people do anything they want, crime, drugs and everything, but during the two you have to do math and make builds. The development seem not to come out with much information than they already have, so we're going to be going into the parallel event, crossover event, and we're probably not to get anything for a while. But I think we're eventually going to get something, but all of this adds up to the announcement which made that Ubisoft is going to be working on a Star Wars game, which has really complicated things in the community. And I've seen a lot of the community members express how passionate they really are about the Division game and I was quite pleasantly shocked that people were disappointed and that they did not want a either a disappointed year 3 or a year 3 announcement. I feel trying to make content for Division 2 is futile because what we've heard from the past few months since Warlord and Nuke has come out were game breaking glitches which so, were so bad and terrible that people get disappointed at the same time that there's no Division announcement. I was kind of shocked because I felt everybody hated this game except for maybe a few hardcore old U players or maybe some of the new players. So at the end of the day, I think Massive understand they probably do have fans waiting for another Division entry. I feel before Massive comes out with the next bit of the game, they need to think and make the story straight and at least um, complete have some you know communication between the new Star Wars game and Division see what is going on between you know how the developments are handling these two games or uh, whatever other development characters like for example Ubisoft was in the process of making a new Avatar game but that's been delayed until the movie comes out so there could be playtesting a bit more longer to iron out bugs they wouldn't come out in the initial um, timeline while making the game so yeah you guys also understand they can't come out with state of the game giving us A, B, C because if they have a non-disclosed contract they can't break it otherwise they risk losing their jobs. I'm personally going to leave that there because I don't want any make any new agent feel like oh, I don't like this game, it's not worth my money. Personally I do love the game, I play it every so often but once again there's no new content, it's drying out and a new man has start this Tuesday. So I will be live streaming that, but at the same time, I don't. I see where people are coming from, where it's just they, they feel like Division Two is dying. It's not like other games where you get updates like Destiny Two, you get every three months. GTA, you get every couple of months, but GTA is a seven-year-old game, so it's kind of understandable there. 